This is Mandy Rockefeller and I'm standing outside the home on 4th Street. So I'm looking to the east, you can see the Teton view. I'll pan over to the north, this is the front yard. So this is looking north. This is the front of the house. It appears to be in good condition. There is some weathering on the south side of the, the deck. Um, you've got the carport here that could be I think pretty easily converted into a garage if you chose to do so. And then you can see the fencing um, for the backyard fence. So there's some additional storage space. And then uh, over here on this side, you can see more storage space. This door is going to be the front door. So we'll walk on in. I didn't turn on any lights really or do anything special um, for the house, but we've just walked in the front door. So a uh, wood burning fireplace here. And then I'll point it out and I can show you um, upstairs as well. One of the bedrooms is actually open to below uh, with these wooden slats. So um, there is an open space. So this view is to the east. You do have a Teton view from the house, so a peak view. And then uh, panning around the main living area is not huge, but it's definitely cute and in great condition. The wood flooring is rough cut. It looks like it could eventually be refinished, but it's not bad by any means. You have wood on the stairs. So the kitchen space is very functional. Here you've got refrigerator, and then uh, you actually have a dishwasher in the house, and um, range. I'm gonna go outside first and then come back through the house because I wanna show you really quickly um, the the space off of the north and then also the living er excuse me the laundry area so there's a, a little deck area here on this north side that's kind of blocked off panning around sorry I'm trying not to go too quickly um, through here this is actually your laundry room and your sauna right there in that door if you can see it and then you've got some storage so you have your laundry on this, you kind of have to walk through the outside a little bit, but it's, it's a covered space. And then you've got a storage room here. Um, and then of course the sauna is right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but lights are not on. Um, and I believe it's functional. So then looking back, you've got your box out here washer and dryer, which are full sized. And then this is a covered space. So while you do have to walk outside, it is covered. Uh, this door, this sliding door does need adjusted, possibly replaced at some point, but it's, a, it's kind of sticky to open and close. Uh, walking through the house now, you've got access to the backyard and I'll show you out the window in the other room. And then this is your bathroom you have your vanity, toilet with another sink, and another toilet, and full shower. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. I didn't turn on the lights. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of repair work that was done above the shower, but not, not too much, and it looks like you need to do a little bit more, but Overall, um, you can see there are a few spots it's in good condition and the hardwood floors uh, are throughout. So kind of a, a, a bit of an interesting circumstance here with the bathroom and the toilets. Um, but I think it makes a functional space if you've got four bedrooms. This is some storage under the stairs. You can see the crawl space access and the electrical panel. This is the Bedroom on the main level, you have some more crawl space access here. Uh, electric baseboard heat. And a view out to the backyard. So it is a fenced, I believe it's fully fenced backyard uh, in good condition. Obviously the fence, I mean, not the yard. <laughs> but I would assume the yard is, is fine, but the fence appears to be well maintained and in good condition. Um, Walking back out, so this is a view to the main living area, and we're going to go up the stairs. 
So we're gonna turn, that's the front door. Up the stairs here. And we come to the landing. There's what I would consider the master bedroom off on the right, so you have a space for the bed here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you've got some nice built-in shelving for closet area on this south side. This is the section here that I was talking about being open to below. You can kind of, oops, shoot, see down in here. And then, let me fix my, sorry about that. I popped my, my camera out of my holder. Uh, and then looking out, so this is the deck here off of the east side of the house, looking out to your Teton view. You can kind of see your peak view out there. Panning around. So uh, not a huge room. I get, I'm not a tall person, but um, you can see the height of the ceilings isn't incredibly high up here, but I think it's certainly very functional. So you have two other bedrooms up on this main living or secondary living area here, although they don't have a closet built in. So you'd have to install an armoire furniture. So this is the other bedroom. So three bedrooms up, one bedroom on the main level. They're not huge bedrooms by any means, but certainly functional bedrooms and um, in good condition. Then uh, backing out here, You've got a half bath on the second level, so you've got your toilet, sink, um, mirror, and then you can see obviously the little, you've got some space here for, if you wanted to utilize it as storage, and then um, your light fixture. So looking back down, I'll give you one more view to the stairs, um, and then out to the main living area. So that's the walkthrough of the 4th Street house.